Kim, is that your real hair or is it a wig? You know, I really want to talk about this, and Nini, I want to address something to you from, from an emotional standpoint. Um, I got very sick. I don't want to cry, but, but I got very sick. And this is not something that I would ever choose to do. Almost three years ago, um, I had lost 25 pounds. My hair was falling out. Nobody knew why. And they said, Kim, my, it was a friend of mine who was a doctor, and he said, Kim, i got to be honest with you. I mean, you're... you're uh, you. 90% sure you have cancer. So you had cancer? I wouldn't choose to walk around with a hairpiece. Ever. Nobody would. And for you to say that, Nini, you knew. I mean, I got really skinny and I was sicker than I, I knew what? That I was sick. I didn't know that you were sick. When you, you said that you had too. cancer, that's the first time Thank I you. ever heard that. I mean, I was used to having, like, beautiful hair. That's what I was known for. That was my signature growing up. Well, let me just go on record and say, I never heard that you were sick with cancer. Had I known that, things may would have been different. I thought you wore the hairpiece for style. Right. I don't have a problem with it. You do you. I mean, if that's what you want to wear, that's what you do. But I never knew you were sick. And, and are you cancer-free now? You know, they found out that I did not have cancer. I had some other problems, and, uh... So you didn't have cancer? No, I did not. I, uh, I lived about three weeks. I remember sitting in a Chili's waiting for the test results, and it was terrible. And, um, they were like, you know, you're, you're healthy this way. Well, we got some other stuff going on, which is, you know, not what I want to talk about. But, uh, so it was some other stuff, and it's been almost three years, and my blood work's been great, and, you know, it changed my life. I'm just happy to be here. Okay. Really? Um, so you didn't have cancer? No, I did not. Okay. Thank God. 